Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back. The Merkur Vision I'm shaving with today. Uh, yeah, here it is here, very, very kindly on loan to me from David Ray. Uh, David is a wet shaver um, from around these parts. He's not from Dundee, but um, we'll not hold that against him. Him and his uh, fiance Heather uh, were at the groom room and they dropped us off and uh, another razor, a couple of soaps, just to let me try. Um, so. I'll tell you all about this as the shave goes on. The soap I'm going to be using is Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit, uh, sandalwood, black pepper and cardamom. Uh, and the ingredients are around the, the lid here. You may not be able to see them. I'll maybe go onto the website and I'll put the description up. So that's the soap I'm going to be using. Yeah, this was one of their first soaps that came out has a nice scent. I've used it um, a few times before on video. I'm going to start the shave with the True Fit and Hill pre-shave oil, Ultimate Comfort. So I shall get that going right now. Just wet the face a little bit. Saturday again. <clears throat> the weekend is here. Great. Okay. Just a few drops of that. Beautiful scent on this. It's, uh, it's like a orange peel. Very um, citrusy. So, how are your shades going? The weekend are you in? Are you going to be enjoying a relaxing shave? I certainly hope so. Or maybe you've already shaved. Okay, that's the pre-shave oil one. Um, the brush I'm going to be using today is the Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic, the new one. Uh, there is a, just let me wipe the bottom because I don't know if I've got, let me still have a little bit of oil on my hands. It's the only thing with using a pre-shave oil, but you can rub it off very much. Yeah, so this is the new Kevy Shaves brush from DS Cosmetic. Um, here it is here. Uh, and this is Saturday. Yesterday was the last day for getting entries in. And the, we have picked a winner. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have picked a winner, but I'll I'll put a separate video up after this one and it will be online on the on my YouTube channel on Monday. So two days from now I'll announce the winner. But here it is here. I'm not going to tell you what the handle's called uh, until that video. Synthetic knot. Yeah, these are available now. Everyone's different. Every brush because of these swirls and stuff like that. So that's what the brush I'm going to be using. Brush soap, uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in the razor is a Gillette Platinum. Second use on this blade. Uh, so here it is here, it has one dot on the back. And I will be using that, just let me take that blade out. There it is there, Gillette Platinum. Okay, the Merker Vision. Uh, this was the predecessor to the Merker Future. They no longer make these uh, razors just now, but very nice. You twist the bottom here and the doors open like that. There it is inside. This is a, an adjuster dial here. It's an adjustable razor. Excuse me just a minute. And we're back. Uh, yeah, it's an adjustable razor uh, with this dial. Uh, there's the top cap there, this little adjuster on the bottom that opens the doors. So I'll just pop the blade in. You just put the blade over that like that. And there it is. Goes in like that. Twist the bottom to close the doors. And there is the blade. Now, there's a little mark on this one, which uh, that's the Merker logo. I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. There we go. Yeah, that's the Merker logo. Now it starts on V. Uh, now it is an adjustable, but I've looked online different, um, I actually think I found the uh, Merker Vision leaflet. Um, and as you adjust it, you would think it would go round, you would think it would start on this little triangle, but it actually starts on the V. And it just twists round. And it goes round, well mine goes to the, well mine's it's not mine's, but this one goes to the, in between the S and the I. And that's as, that's as far as it'll go. So um, you may be able to see the, the blade gap. 
changing there as I move it. You see how the, the bottom plate kind of lowers, exposing more of the blade. Yeah, so only, it starts on V and you move it round. This one goes to in between the I and the S. There we go. Right, so that's the widest setting I have it. Look at it, look at the blade gap there. Look at that. Yeah, very wide blade gap. So I'm gonna put it down to the lowest setting and I'll just move it up a couple of notches. That's that. I'm sweating already. I don't like aggressive razors. <laughs> now, right, the weight of this, the weight of the future, the, the Merkur Future, which is the one that came after this, the Vision, the Merkur Future is 120, about 128 grams. This is about 127. <clears throat> Excuse me. Roughly about the same length. This is a little bit longer. So it's roughly about the same as a, as a, a future, but I think it's even more aggressive. So we'll, we'll see how we got on. Okay, let's uh, start lathering the soap. I'll just wet the brush, a little bit of water in here. <clears throat> Right, here we go, the new Kerry Shades brush. Yeah, I know Phoenix and Bo are um, thirsty soaps. UK Artisan, Kerry and Sarah Burrows. Um, and they have, the reason I wanted to use this is because I wanted to tell you that they've, they're coming out, um, I think it's the 3rd, 3rd of August is the date for pre-orders, a Brut scented soap. And then at the end of the month, they're coming out with an Old Spice scented soap. So, looking forward to trying those sometime. It's a nice brush. Look at that, absolutely jam-packed in the bristles there. I'll just take this out, apply it like that. More of pre-shave. I think I'll need as much help as I can get here with the uh, using the Merkur Vision. Yeah, so the um, the brute soap that they have coming out is called Right Hand Giant, and I, I don't know if it's a absolute clone for brute or if it's a uh, just like kind of paying homage to the the scent. Right, let's get going with this brush. Great lather. This is where this is the synthetic knot I'm using. Uh, this brush is also available in uh, Badger Knot. Yeah, so David Ray left me a message, uh, sent me a message just saying um, I've dropped the brush off at the uh, Gentlemen's room room for you. I've dropped the brush, I've dropped the razor, <laughs> I've dropped the razor off. Okay, let me just uh, wet the tips. I love creating a lather. Every soap is different um, as to how they will perform, how much water they'll need. I know Phoenix and Bo um, have a good soap base and their scents are really good. Yeah, I think I was, um, when I first started out shaving this way, wet shaving with a brush and soaps and stuff, and the um, Phoenix and Bo, I kind of just started out. So um, Kerry was looking for testers. I did test out his soap in, I think it was 2015. And I still have, I still have some of that unscented um, soap base that he sent out. I've got it pressed in a bowl. But a uh, great soap base. Just gonna dip the tips again. 
Yeah, it can take a lot of water. That's the way I like it, thick and creamy. I have a uh, very soft water here, so I never usually have trouble lathering up with soap. Look at that lather, superb. tried uh, any Phoenix and Bow soaps. We do a lot of uh, limited edition. I think the Brute and the Old Spice ones are limited editions. Okay, here we go with the uh, Mercury Vision on setting. What well, was kind of V's the start? Where are we? Yeah, V's the start. There's the, there's the low setting. So I'm just going to move it around a couple of notches. Right, here we go. Let's have a go with this. It's aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's um, one of the reasons I sold. I sold. I had a Mercury Future. And uh. I sold it because I just wasn't getting on with it. It was too aggressive. Um, it was too aggressive and I just I just didn't enjoy it when I shaved with it. You can really feel the blade on this. It's a very bulky head, which means it's difficult to get uh, right under the nose there. As you can see, probably very, well, it still is kind of futuristic looking. I keep that Weetabix keep catching my eye. <laughs> Weetabix. Yeah, I didn't know what to put up there today, so I thought I'll just put the, uh, the Weetabix box up there, because I like Weetabix. Uh, I have them for my breakfast. Sometimes, I chop up a banana. The good thing about this razor is, because of the weight of the, the head, it's kind of um, it's kind of intuitive as to how you use it. Like no pressure whatsoever, just let the head um, rest on the skin and, and do its work. Very nice, great slickness from the uh, Phoenix and Bowl. Yeah, I like to um, support British artisans. Very light touch down here on this little trouble spot. Yeah, so I guess if this was um, if this had numbers on it, I guess probably this would be about a a two. Number two I was using. Let's show you the blade gap. There's a much of the, the blade that's uh, showing. There's the gap. Yeah. Right, okay, first pass. That's it, shave's over. <laughs> right, I'll come back for pass number two when I rinse this off. Nicely rinsed off, okay. Back to the Kebby Shaves brush and the uh, Phoenix and Bow Sanskrit shaving soap. Nice scent on this, sandalwood, black pepper, cardamom, great blend of scents, quite a sweet scent, but um, nice, very nice. 
you know, and you can see the ladder there. Nice brush. This, um, I'm not sure if this has as much backbone as the, uh, the other Kevy Shades brush. It's a little bit more um, softer feeling. Maybe just the loft of the knot set a little bit higher. This soap is fantastic. Really good. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to leave the, uh, the vision on the setting I had it, which is on the oh 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 <laughs> yeah yeah um here we go across the growth yeah it has some uh, there's some noise from it I've seen um, Paul H use one of these. Actually, just used one I think last week, and uh, Geo Fat Boy has one. They say this is um, more aggressive in the future, but it doesn't feel it to me. Blades all enclosed, and I'm just uh, checking that's tight. Yeah, you can certainly feel the blade, but it's not. Um, say it's a super super aggressive blade feel on this setting anyway maybe on the highest one it will be and then again perhaps the, the blades helping and the pre-shave oil too Yeah, so the uh, the Phoenix and Bow limited edition ones, uh, the one that's uh, coming out in a couple of days or pre-order, pre-order in a couple of days is called um, Right Hand Giant. I think I said that earlier. That's the one that's um, the kind of brute, paying homage to brute. The Old Spice one is called Night Witch. Did I tell you that already? I can't remember. Uh, that's coming out. I think it's the end. The end of the month or start of September or the end of September. But uh, right, feels, <laughs> that feels amazing. Let me rinse off, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, rinsed off. There's some uh, soap on the side of this, I'll just scoop that out. <clears throat> this brush. Yeah, I'll put um, links for everything in the uh, description of this video. If you want to know about anything that I've used, if I can find a link for it, I uh, I put it in the description. So make sure you check that out. If you if you want to find out where to buy this or just use Google. Um, sometimes I put links to stores in the UK. Sometimes to the states. Sometimes Europe. It's bright here today. Ooh. Okay. Right, I'm just going to 
dry my hands off and I will turn this down to uh, the V. So you can see the blade gap there is much less. If I turned it up, you can see it now look. See how much is there? So I'm just going to turn it down. Yeah, it just kind of pushes the head back up so there's less of a, a gap between this safety bar and the blade. Okay, let's go. Third pass against the growth. That feels too, too mild. Yeah, I'd read, I'd read online that um, they said if you close it down to the V, um, you won't feel the blade. But um, I can certainly feel it there on my hand, and I can see it cutting a couple of hairs there, but what I can't feel it on my face. No, can't feel it. Maybe just got the angle wrong. No, I don't feel like it's cutting anything there at all, so. I'll just, uh, I'll just turn it round. Where are we? It's going that way. I'll just turn it around a little bit. Yeah, I just want to keep checking that this uh, bottom dial is uh, staying closed. Right, where are we? Right, I've just turned it around to the, the little diamond, which is the one just after the V. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I can feel that now. Yeah, that feels better. When it was um, fairly close there, I couldn't really feel the blade at all. I couldn't feel it um, cutting anything. I couldn't hear it. But on this setting, you, you definitely can. Here it's cutting, uh, cutting the, the whiskers, the, the ones that are left. You can hear it there. This handle isn't slippy at all. Um, you'd think it would be with wet hands. You'd think the handle would be slippy, but it's quite grippy actually. Got one little weeper there. There's a couple little dots here, but um, only to be expected with this uh, such an aggressive razor. Okay, let me have a rinse. I'll see if there's anything even picked up. I wouldn't think so, but you never know. The uh, slickness from that soap is incredible. Yeah, there's a little bit down here. And a little bit around there. Very, very gently down here. Yeah, I'll have to, um, I'll have to revisit the future. How does that happen? Do you think you're Marty McFly, Kevy? Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have to revisit the future, uh, the razor, just to see how it is. I bought a Ming Shi uh, copy. 
clone. Um, and I didn't think that was a, as aggressive as the Mecca Future, but um, I can always borrow one and uh, try it out. Yeah, there's enough uh, residual slickness from that soap. Feels great, really nice. Quick rinse. Oh, that's one close shave. Okay, let's uh, see how much this gives up. Nice amount there. Okay, some lovely properties in this soap, so I'm gonna have a face wash. And it was Kerry, Kerry Burrows from Phoenix and Bo. He's the first person I seen doing this. Um, some people say it was me that invented it, invented it. <laughs> but I wasn't. Uh, the first person I seen doing it was Kerry at Phoenix and Bow. So I think it's great because it really does. Um, when she washes, uh, when she brushed, when she, when she work, <laughs> when she work this into your skin and leave it on, it uh, leaves your skin feeling great when she rinse it off. Okay, I'll do that and I'll see you for the post shave. See you soon. Oh, oh, oh boy, that's close. Skin feels really soft with that soap. Really great um, post shave feel from Phoenix and Bow. Okay, because they're coming out with a Brute scent. Brute. Um, this is a plastic bottle. This is the new version. Um, this is going to sting like mad, I notice there's a lot of alcohol in this. That's a really close shave. Comes with a little restrictor. <laughs> Splash it on. Here we go. Whoa! On the neck. <laughs> yeah, that's drying down to a nice, uh, that nice powdery brute scent that you get. It's drying in already. <laughs> My skin's like <laughs> great stuff. Brute. Nice. And to finish it off, I'm going to be using Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe. This is just like a, a body lotion. I think you get this for about one ninety nine in the, the UK home bargains. Good stuff. Yeah, it's quite a thick cream. It has a, a light, very light aloe vera scent, but it's, uh, it's very moisturising. If my father could hear me now, <laughs> and my, my elder brother, who's uh, sadly no longer with us, but I can imagine uh, me shaving and going, yeah, yeah, this moisturiser is very good, it's very moisturising. He'd be like, what? <laughs> hey, I'm a modern man. Nice, okay. Shave over. Feels fantastic. Any little weepers? Mm, not yet. Cold water, maybe sorted them out. Let me show you what we've used today. The brush, DS Cosmetic, Kevy Shaves. This is the new one with the handle that has been named, but uh, I'll I'll film a video. I'll maybe do it today, and then I'll, I'll get it uploaded. It'll be up on Monday, so um, check that out. So here it's here. Yeah, lovely brush. It's a little it has a little bit more uh, a help, a bit less backbone than the other one, but still very soft uh, and a nice handle there. Very comfortable to hold. The soap was Phoenix and Bow. Sanskrit shaving soap, sandalwood, black pepper, cardamom, great lather, superb, lovely scent. There it is, all cleaned out. Nice scent on it, yeah. Um, Phoenix and Bow, you can't go wrong, UK artisan. Well done, Kerry and Sarah. The razor, Mercury Vision, kindly on loan to me from David Ray. Thank you, David, very much for letting me try this. Um, 
I thought it was going to be much more aggressive than it was. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was aggressive, but nothing like uh, what I remember the Merkur Future used to be. This didn't feel as bad, it was a, a lot more comfortable. A lot of blade feel, yeah, you can see the gap there. Started on maybe about setting, I don't know, two or three, then dialed it back down just a little bit for the, the rest and the pickups. But very futuristic looking. It is a big old bulky thing. Some people don't like it, say it's ugly. I think it's okay. I quite liked it actually. I quite enjoyed using it. Uh, you can no longer get these, or I think you can only pick them up second hand now. They're no longer making them, but twist it open, yeah, you twist the bottom. Inside that was a Gillette Platinum, second use. Nice blade in that razor. Well, it's the first time I've tried it, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably use it again. Maybe not on camera, but Definitely use it again. I, I liked it. I did like it. Um, would I buy one if these were available? Maybe, maybe. It's just a, it's that little bit different. It doesn't look like a standard, your normal looking razor, does it? I mean, look at that. Watch your video. <laughs> uh, that was that. Oh, we started the shave with the True Fit and Hill Ultimate Comfort Pre Shave. Yeah, that done the job. Very good, good stuff. And there's the box for the Gillette Platinum. Uh, post shave, face wash, rinsed off with cold water, good old Brut, Brut splash on lotion, and finished it with Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe. And this has little, you can see there, with micro droplets of Vaseline jelly. Yeah, so very good. And there's the shave. Yeah, no little weepers or anything. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. I can still smell the brute. <laughs> Very good. Okay. If you're using brute today, good on you. If you're not using brute today, why? Use some brute after your shave. As your after shave. Unless you're matching a, a soap with a, a splash. But um, yeah, I've not used that for a long time. As soon as I put it on, the smell, oh, just took me back. Um, took me back to my childhood when my father used to wear brute and Old Spice. Good stuff. Okay, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for all the comments on the, the brush video and all the other comments that you continue to leave. Um, I try and do my best to answer all of them, uh, or if not, I'll, I'll read them all and press the heart button. Uh, I really appreciate it. I never would have thought that um, I would be interacting with other shapers all around the world in this way on YouTube, but I really, really enjoy it. And uh, I love your, keep your questions coming, whatever you want to ask. If I can answer it, somebody will read it and they will know. Um, there's, there's people with way more knowledge than I do um, when it comes to wet shaving. There's my phone, just beeped, so I'm going to get going. Uh, okay, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful rest of this weekend. Enjoy your shaves and uh, spend time with loved ones and relax. Uh, and have a barbecue if the weather's nice. Not here. Okay, I'll see you soon uh, for the brush naming stroke giveaway on Monday. So until then, take care of yourselves and have fun.